Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So we are con continuing our study of electrochemistry or so may have it electrolysis. Okay. And today we are going to continue our study on term some terminologies that we have to encounter when we are studying what electrolysis and today we border on electrode. This episode we border on electrodes. Electrodes. Okay. So now for example, to show you that this Questions are usually set, all right, when it comes to what jump. Let us go to the O3 School Jump app. Do not forget this video, of course, is sponsored by the O3 School Jump app, all right, and because the app has helped thousands of students, a lot of our students, past students, are already in schools, different schools in Nigeria, and of course, your case will not be different. So please go to Play Store, download that app immediately, all right. This is a 2022 question, uh, number 13, is being displayed on the screen right now. It says, Anions move towards the anode. And cations move towards the okay. They're giving options option A, anode, option B, cathode, option C, electron, option D, proton. Okay, so we're going to come back to this question later. All right, I'm going to come back after we are done with studying what electrodes, and then of course, we will see that what you have learned a whole lot. And any question that jam anywhere, question anywhere jam want to set this question from, you already what ready what for them when it comes to what electrolysis and what an electrodes to be very broad to be very precise okay now let's talk about electrodes all right uh what are electrodes first of all electrodes are, are those conductors that allow the passage of uh, electrons or electric currents or through them and either into or out of what the electrolytes okay i'm saying electrodes are what they are conductors conductors that allow the passage of electrons electrons through them right and what either into or out of the solution of electrolytes all right so in the previous episode before this we have talked about what electrolytes so i am not there's no way i'm going to waste my time going back to it all right so please make sure you follow our episode and make sure what you are studying okay so please download our auto school jump up immediately activate for just three thousand naira. just three thousand naira. at the time of shooting this video is three thousand naira, so it may increase in years to come right but please take advantage pass your jam at once there's nothing like passing your jam at once there's nothing like writing your jam once is in your getting a very good score going to school do not waste your time do not waste your time saying ah um, uh, ha, yeah it's expensive oh, that's how you say it's expensive it's expensive all your mates will be in school already so please any opportunity any study material any study outlets that will be useful to you get them all right sacrifice get them and what and what and pay all right pay for it and then put your bumble in one place Pin your bomb bomb in one place and study and make sure you get what you want. All right. So electrodes, we are saying that those conductors that allow the passage of electrons through them and either into or out of the solution of what? Electrolytes. Okay. So we are going to be looking at what? Two types of what? Electrodes. And those are called what? The cathodes. The cathodes. Right. And the what? And the what? And the anode. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at the cathode and the anode. These are all the two types of what electrodes that we have. Okay, now what is the cathode itself? So the cathode, right, is the electrode through which electrons or electric currents enter into the cell. Okay, the cathode, the cathode, cathode is the electrode through which electrons or electric current enter into the cell okay so the cathode is the electrode through which what electrons or electric current enter into the cell okay now having known that it is also important that you also know that what they are what two type of cells are going to be looking at okay i'm going to look at the word the electrolytic cell electrolytic cell and then we're going to look at what the electrochemical cell okay now the difference between these two cells is that 
in the electrolytic cell the electrolytic says what says consumes it consumes it consumes or destroys electric currents the electrolytic cell consumes or destroys electric currents while the electrochemical cell produces or generates electric currents okay so please know the difference between what these two cells the electrolytic cell it consumes or destroys electric currents while the electrochemical cell produces or generates electric currents now when it comes to the cathode right the electrode right for uh the, the the cathode is what is the negative electrode in an electrolytic cell when it comes to an electrolytic cell the cathode is a negative electrode okay but when it comes to an electrochemical cell the cathode is the positive word electrode are you there okay so now let's put that down out the cathode right is the negative electrode the cathode is the negative electrode in an electrolytic in an electrolytic cell okay why it is the positive electrode in an electrochemical cell All right, so please know this and know peace. Okay, so the cathode is the electrode through which what electrons or electric current enter into the cell. All right, and we said we have what two type of four cells that are going to look at during our course of our study of electrolysis: the electrolytic cell and the electrochemical cell. We said the electrolytic the electrolytic cell consumes or destroys electric current, while the electrochemical cell produces or generates elect, uh, electric current. And then we went for that to say that the cathode itself is what is a negative electrode, right? In an, in an electrolytic cell, why it is the positive electrode in an electrochemical cell. Okay, so please understand that. Over, as we continue uh, a study of electrolysis, I want to see a, a special video dedicated to the difference between an, an electrolytic cell and an um, electrochemical cell, okay? So just, Put your mind down and that, or just understand from this point of this video that's what that the electrolytic cell consumes or produce uh, or what destroys rather electric current while the electrochemical cell produces or generates electric current okay so please if you have not liked this video what i'm doing is very wrong as so you're watching this video now just click on that like button click on it right if you have not subscribed to this channel what you're doing is also very wrong so please don't click on that red subscribe button so that once we publish a new video you'll be the first to know and you'll come and what and join us in the class all right so please subscription is free do that what right now okay so now also uh let's look at the anode so the anode now is what is the the anode is the electrode through which electrons or electric current now leave the cell okay now why the cathode is the electrode through which electric current enter into the cell the anode is the electrode through which electric current leaf what the cell that is just the difference between the cathode and the anode all right and for uh, an electrolytic cell right the anode is the positive electrode right for electrolytic cell the anode now is the positive electrode in an electrolytic cell okay so the anode is the positive electrode in an electrolytic cell why it is the negative electrode now in an electrochemical cell all right why it is the negative electrode in an electrochemical cell all right so please note what note what the difference okay why the cathode is what is the positive sorry is the negative electrode in an electrolytic cell and the positive in the electrochemical cell 
right? The for the anode now, the anode is what is the positive electrode in an electrolytic cell and the negative electrode in an electrochemical cell. Okay, so now uh, I've told you what the difference between electrolytic cell and what an electro electrochemical cell. At least one difference that you should know as it pertains to what study of what of electrodes. Now we're going to look at what two type of ions. The cations and the anions, and then we are done with this class. Okay, now let's talk about what the cations. The cations they are also called the cathodic ions. The cations also called the cathodic what ions. Okay, that the positively what charged what ions. That the positively charged ions. Cathodes. Okay, so talk about what two type of ions. The cations now and anions okay so let's talk about what the cations now the cations they are the positively they are the positively charged ions right in the electrolyte in the electrolyte electrolytes right that migrate okay that migrate to the cathode during electrolysis. Okay, so the cation they are the positively charged ions in the electrolytes that migrate. They migrate to the cathode during what electrolysis. They are also called. They are also called. Also called cathodic ions. Cathodic what ions? They are also called cathodic ions. Okay, cathodic ions, cathodic ions. All right. So the cations that possibly charge what ions in the electrolyte that migrate to the cathode during what electrolysis. Examples are uh, uh, they are also called cathodic ions. And examples of these possibly charged ions are uh, what H plus, Na plus, K plus, and the likes. All these are all what. They are all cations. They migrate to the cathode during what electrolysis. So it's becoming very interesting now. All right. So now let's talk about what the anions on the other hand. Anions. Okay. So they are also called what the anodic what ions. The anodic ions. All right. So they are and they are those what negatively charged ions in the electrolyte. that migrates to the anode during electrolysis okay so they are what those were negatively charged ions right in the electrolyte that migrate to the anode during what electrolysis okay they are also called the anodic what the ions they are also called the anodic Ions, okay. They are also called the what the anodic ions. Okay, so examples, of course, we have what um, OH minus, okay, Cl minus, that CO three two minus, NO three minus, BR minus, and so on, what and so forth. Okay, so these are what these are negatively charged ions, and they migrate to the anode during what electrolysis. So uh, let's now look at that question from the O3 school jump up. And of course, I'm sure by now you have already what, known the answer to the question. Okay, so the question says a 2022 question, number 13. 2022 question, number 13. They said, the question said, anions move towards the anode. Okay, as you can see here, anions, yeah, there are those negative charged ions in the, elect in the electrolyte that migrate or move right migrate to the anode during electrolysis why cations move towards the what they move towards what the cathode during what electrolysis okay so our simple answer there will be what would be option what b very simple okay so please download the auto school app immediately right there are thousands of questions on the app okay so start answering them start getting used to them all right build your confidence all right the app also has what uh, wonderful features like what the classroom feature where you can learn our ai power tutorial we will be teaching you while you are trying to decide answer the questions 
Also, have a question search feature. You can search for questions. All right, on that different topic, you can go to question search, go to chemistry, click on electrolysis. All the questions job are set on electro electrolysis will come up for you. You answer them, build more confidence. Also, there's also, uh, also a wonderful feature called the UTME challenge. This is a challenge we conduct for thousands of what several thousands of what jam students every year. All right, you participate in the challenge, you win prizes, you get used to how jam answer that question, we release the results weekly weekly as you participate in those challenges weekly we release your results weekly weekly and then you are getting used to what to how jam release results how jam set questions building your confidence toward the exam and when you see jam jam question bars goals okay i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching